Good day, grade 11s. We know that light refracts as it moves across a boundary from one medium to the next. In this lesson, we will look more closely at why light refracts and discuss the factors that govern the extent by which light is refracted. The first thing we need to remember is that the speed of light is constant as it travels through a specific medium. It does not slow down or speed up while in that medium. The maximum speed of light, which is the speed of light in a vacuum, is 3 times by 10 to the 8 meters per second. The speed of light in air is very close to its speed in a vacuum. So we use 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second in air as well. Now let us remind ourselves of the definition of refraction. Refraction is the change of direction of a light ray because its speed changes from one medium to another. It is important to realize that although the speed of light changes as it is refracted, the frequency does not. This is why light of a single color does not change as it refracts. The refractive index is a measure of how much a substance refracts light. The refractive index of a substance is a ratio of the speed of light in a vacuum to the speed of light in a substance. Let's write that down to help us understand it better. The refractive index, N, of a substance is the ratio of the speed of light in a vacuum, C, to the speed of light in the substance, V. We can write this as an equation. N equals C divided by V, where N is the refractive index, C is the speed of light in a vacuum, and V is the speed of light in the substance. Let us now do an example to make sure we know how to use this equation. Remember to start with a list of the variables that are given. We know that the speed of light in a vacuum is a constant, 3 times 10 times 8 meters per second. We are told that the speed of light in the glass bead, V, is 2 times by 10 to the 8 meters per second. And we are asked to calculate the refractive index, N. Our next step is to write down the equation we will use. N equals C divided by V. Now we can substitute our variables into the equation. So N equals 3 times 10 to the 8 divided by 2 times by 10 to the 8. Therefore, the refractive index of the glass bead N equals 1,5. This means that the glass bead is more optically dense than air. The larger the refractive index of a substance, the slower light travels through the substance and the more it refracts light. Remember, optical density is a measure of the speed light travels through a substance. Light travels slower in a substance that is more optically dense. So we can see that the refractive index of a substance is related to the optical density. So, a substance with a high optical density will have a higher refractive index, and a substance with a lower refractive index has low optical density. So, in this lesson, we have learned about the refractive index. Let us briefly summarize the main points we have covered. The speed of light is constant in a medium and has a maximum speed of 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second in a vacuum. The refractive index, N, of a substance is the ratio of the speed of light in a vacuum, C, to the speed of light in the substance, V. That means that N equals C divided by V. Optical density is a measure of the speed light travels in a substance, and the refractive index is related to the optical density. A high refractive index means the substance is more optically dense and the light travels more slowly. That is all for this lesson. Grade 11s, you will find more information about geometric optics at www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Remember to try some of the questions in the task video too. Goodbye.